Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making this gorgeous freestanding amethyst crystal, but first I wanted to show you some supplies that Unicone Art Resin sent me to try. We're going to be testing out some of these products in today's video, so let's jump in and get started. They sent me these gorgeous mica flakes, these beautiful druzy golden nuggets, this magical mica pigment enhancer, so you just add this to your mica powders to give it more sparkle, and this gorgeous set of glitters. We're going to be using the green one today, and they sent me some resin to try. So we're going to be trying out Unicone Art Resin today. They're on Amazon. I'll link all their information down below in the description box. We're going to be using 16 ounces. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm going to show you um, how I mix this up. And they also sent instructions, which is really nice. A lot of companies don't send instructions when you get your resin so I thought that was really awesome they sent the instruction sheet and when I measure out my resin I always do my part B first so we're going to be measuring out eight ounces of part B and eight ounces of part A the actual resin which is the thicker product I'm pouring in here and then you're going to mix slowly. This is the key to not getting a lot of bubbles in your resin. See how slowly I'm mixing? You just want to do that for three minutes and just keep mixing. Scrape the sides of your cup, scrape your mixing stick, stick scrape the bottom of your cup. And then what I do is I pour my mixed up resin into another cup. Make sure I scrape all of it out of the original cup and I'm going to stir it up for another three minutes. This way you're going to 100% ensure your resin is 100% mixed and you're not going to have any problems due to your resin not being mixed up thoroughly. And I still mix really slow this round two, mix it up for another three minutes and then you're ready to pour. So I'm going to pour out about two ounces of this clear into a cup. I'm going to add some of the unicone glitter and we're going to pour a few snowflakes and then we'll get into the amethyst crystal. And I reuse my cups. I know it looks like there's already glitter in this cup, but that was from a previous pour. If you just let your cup sit upright, let your resin set up in there overnight, you can reuse it for your next pour and your old colors won't bleed into your new colors. I'm just filling up these snowflake molds here really quick, super simple and easy. I didn't have to pop the bubbles. This resin had very few bubbles, which was awesome. And it was really clear too, which I really liked. I mixed up some Bella Violet Pigment from Resin Pigment Canada and a little bit of Violet Metallic Color Shift from Stone Coat Countertops and I'm just pouring in some clear on top of that and that's going to really mix those colors together and give you some pretty color blending on your amethyst and this mold I got from Lynn Donovan Art, I'll link it down below in the description box. Just pouring a little bit of that color shifting violet and a little bit more of the Bella Violet from Resin Pigment Canada. I'm going to spray it with some isopropyl alcohol just a few times to pop any bubbles. I didn't add any heat to this at all. Um, I try not to use heat in my silicone molds if I can help it just because it can damage the mold so you don't want to add too much heat if you don't have to. Cover it up and let it dry for 24 hours and now we're ready to demold them. So here's the snowflakes. Um, I actually demolded this at about 18 hours so it was still a little bit bendy but all you have to do is just lay it flat on a table and it'll harden up after that 24 hour mark. But check out how pretty this glitter is. It reminds me of like Maleficent or like a mermaid kind of like color shift glitter. It's super pretty. These snowflakes are so fun to make, and they're really easy to make too. Um, I'll link the mold down below if you guys want to check out where I got the mold for the snowflakes too. So now we're going to jump in and demold the amethyst. I probably should have added like a little bit of black to this to give it more like a natural amethyst look, but it still turned out super pretty. Um, this mold 
takes anywhere between six and seven ounces of resin. Um, this one I weighed it and it was 6.2 ounces and then I made another crystal with it as well. That video will be coming up soon and that one was seven ounces. So it just depends um, on how much you fill the mold up. But check out how gorgeous and sparkly this is. I absolutely love this mold and it's freestanding. So like I said, you can stand it up and it'll stand up on a table. No problem. Um, it's like one inch thick at the base and then it kind of tapers up and cuts to about a half an inch thick at the top. And I wanted to show you guys what these look like in some natural lighting. The snowflake glitters are just so pretty. I absolutely love how it has the different shapes of glitters. It has like some super chunky and some fine glitters in there. And here is the crystal tower that we made. It's got such a gorgeous sparkle. And if natural sunlight goes through the crystal it reflects these really pretty like rainbow prisms which is really 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 fun let me know what you guys think down in the comments and what color crystal i should make next i had so much fun making this one and it is pretty easy to make too i poured this all in one layer and i didn't have any problems with excessive bubbles or anything like that so i really enjoyed using the unicone uh, art resin i'll be sure to link that down below and like i said they're on amazon which is really nice Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this one. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing good. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye.